hello everyone welcome to pharmacy lectures uh, today we are going to discuss introduction to emep pathway uh, emep pathway also referred to as mevalonate independent pathway also sometimes known as deoxyxylulose phosphate pathway and this pathway is used for the synthesis of terpenoids like monoterpenes diterpenes tetraterpenes by plants and by uh, microorganism also and the terminology MEP pathway is preferred uh, in that MEP is the first terpenoid precursor uh, means uh, from MEP uh, the monoterpenes are produced and from deoxyxylulose phosphate uh, from here uh, pyridoxal phosphate vitamin B6 and thiamine vitamin B1 are produced so deoxyxylulose phosphate pathway is rarely used and most commonly the name used is MEP pathway and this pathway uh, present in plants uh, microorganisms and parasites and this pathway is helpful for them uh, for the biosynthesis of the monoterpenes diterpenes and tetraterpenes mostly and for other terpenoid derivatives also uh, so, in order to figure out what is the difference between MEP pathway and mevalonate pathway, uh, let's uh, see here. <coughs> uh, both pathways, uh, the mevalonate pathway and MEP pathway, uh, supplies isoprene units for the biosynthesis of a particular terpenoid. Means both pathway provide us IPP and DMEPP, that is isopentenyl pyrophosphate and uh, dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate both these pathways produce but uh, the difference is mevalonate pathway is used by uh, plants microorganisms animals uh, almost all organism for the synthesis of especially cholesterol while mbp pathway used especially by plants and microorganism only for the biosynthesis of mono di and tetra terpenes and now let's see what is the difference between these two MEP pathway and mevalonate pathway because in order to understand the MEP pathway clearly we must know the difference between MEP and mevalonate pathway let's see uh, these are the differences uh, first MEP pathway was discovered in early 1990s means recently and mevalonate pathway was discovered in late 1950s means first mevalonate pathway was discovered and later on MEP pathway was discovered and previously it was supposed that the all the terpenoids synthesized by plants or animals or microorganism all the terpenoids were derived from mevalonate pathway initially it was supposed but later on after the discovery of MEP pathway it was clear that not all the terpenoids are synthesized by mevalonate pathway uh, terpenoids are mostly synthesized by MEP pathway it was clear next difference is MEP pathway is present in plants algae and bacteria only means they can only utilize uh, those particular enzymes and mevalonate pathway is present in plants also animals algae fungi and bacteria it is present in almost all the organism except the viruses obviously and next uh, MEP pathway occurs in chloroplast of plant if you talk about plants and mevalonate pathway occurs in the cytosol of plants and from MEP pathway uh, the plants synthesize C10 monoterpenoids, C20 diterpenoids and C40 tetraterpenoids and from mevalonate pathway especially C30 derivatives are produced and again from C30 derivative cholesterol is produced from the mevalonate pathway especially and some C15 derivatives are also produced and next is the drugs targeted for MEP pathway have very less chance of acting on humans means if we target the enzymes of MEP pathway then those drugs will only act on the enzymes acting on MEP pathway and MEP pathway does not exist in human so those drugs will not act on humans and the drugs targeted for mevalonate pathway have very high chance of acting on humans uh, one very famous drug uh, which acts on the mevalonate pathway uh, the drug is uh, statin class of drugs example rosuvastatin simvastatin 
uh, they target the enzyme uh, enzyme in mevalonate pathway the enzyme is hmg coenzyme a reductase enzyme and one drug is produced uh, uh, which targets on mep pathway and the drug's name is phosphomidomycin and uh, let's see next uh, this pathway uh, mep pathway the precursors for uh, mep pathway are pyruvic acid and d glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate uh, two carbons uh, will come from pyruvic acid and uh, three carbons will come from one two three carbon come from uh, d glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and the ipp and dmapp synthesized at the last of this pathway are five carbon unit and the from where this pyruvic acid comes actually it comes from uh, glycolysis or it comes from photosynthesis it is not very clear uh, till now and d glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate uh, is another precursor and the pyruvic acid first reacts with thiamine pyrophosphate and pyruvic acid is attached to uh, thiamine pyrophosphate and uh, later on uh, d glyceraldehyde will come and react with that intermediate in presence of enzyme 1 deoxy d xylulose 5 phosphate synthase means dxp synthase and in that way uh, dxp is synthesized and the thiamine is again regained in the reaction and here in this structure a uh, 1 deoxy d xylulose 5 phosphate the xylulose is a 5 carbon containing sugar in which the 5 carbons are in a straight chain and uh, one thing is missing in here in this structure 1 deoxy d xylulose 5 phosphate in xylulose structure there is hydroxy at position number 1 and that hydroxy is missing in this structure in this 1 deoxy d xylulose 5 phosphate so that's why it is written 1 deoxy because hydroxy is missing and one thing is added in that uh, xylulose and the added uh, group is phosphate group so in at position number 1 in xylulose uh, there is missing hydroxy and at position number 5 there is an extra phosphate group so that's why its name is 1 deoxy d xylulose 5 phosphate and next the enzyme which comes in action is methyl erythritol phosphate synthase you can simply call it or in detail 2c methyl d erythritol 4 phosphate synthase and it requires a cofactor which is nadph and this uh, does not occur so this reaction will not uh, carry out in a single split uh, single step uh, there obviously is an intermediate and from that intermediate this methyl erythritol phosphate or in detail 2c methyl d erythritol 4 phosphate is synthesized and the difference is uh, between these two structures are uh, dxp and methyl erythritol phosphate the difference is uh, dxp is a 5 carbon containing sugar uh, uh, there is a substitution uh, it is xylulose sugar there is and here it is a erythritol uh, it is the sugar and here the extra group is a methyl group at position number 2 there is a 2 c methyl and phosphate is extra at position number 4 uh, and all other are same uh, dxp is a 5 carbon containing sugar uh, erythritol is a 4 carbon containing sugar and in methyl erythritol phosphate there is a methyl substitution at position number 2 and here in xylulose uh, here was a phosphate substitution at position number 5 and in methyl erythritol phosphate here is um, phosphate substitution at position number 4 and the next uh, this uh, methyl erythritol phosphate MEP this MEP will react with CTP cited in triphosphate and the compound forms is <coughs> uh, 4CDP 2C methyl d erythritol or simply 4CDP methyl erythritol you can call it here uh, from this MEP uh, methyl erythritol phosphate phosphate group is removed and uh, cited in diphosphate group is attached phosphate group is removed from methyl erythritol phosphate and cited in diphosphate group is att attached here and again in presence of ATP uh, energy unit and the enzyme diphosphocytidyl uh, methyl erythritol kinase this will add a phosphate group at the position number second hydroxy group and this overall this enzyme will make this methyl erythritol this uh, CDP methyl erythritol into a 
cyclophosphate type structure here you can see here uh, down uh, on your left corner uh, this structure is methyl erythritol 24 cyclophosphate there is phosphate at position number 2 and another phosphate is at position number 4 and these two phosphate groups are attached to each other and this whole uh, structure it makes a cyclic structure that's why it is called a cyclophosphate and next what happens is this uh, cyclophosphate uh, bond gets a breakdown the breakdown occurs and the hydroxy group at position number 3 it gets uh, removed the position number 3 hydroxy gets removed and the phosphate bond uh, at position number 2 it also gets uh, detached it also gets a breakdown and the structure next forms is on your uh, uh, right corner uh, below the structure is 4 hydroxy 3 methyl but 2 enyl diphosphate here now after the addition of phosphate uh, its numbering starts from uh, here on right side uh, the position the carbon atom at which the phosphate is attached it is carbon number 1 and the next carbon is 2 and next carbon 3 and next carbon is 4 so the hydroxy is at position number 4 and the double bond or in it is at position number 2 and the methyl group it is at position number 3 that's why its name is 4 hydroxy 3 methyl but 2 enyl diphosphate OPP means a diphosphate there is uh, two phosphate groups you can call it uh, hydroxy methyl butenyl diphosphate or you can also call it hydroxy methyl butenyl pyrophosphate you can call it by any name there is no problem in there and uh, next what happens it uh, what happens is this hydroxy group also gets uh, removed from here and after removal of this hydroxy the structure which forms is uh, it can be isopentenyl pyrophosphate after removal of hydroxy or the structure can be uh, dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate it can be any structure and this step this final step it is not quite clear for scientists that they are not uh, uh, clear that which uh, iso either isopentenyl pyrophosphate uh, it gets synthesized first or dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate gets synthesized first uh, they are not quite clear but uh, they are uh, clear about these enzymes uh, that these enzymes will carry out the reaction uh, these enzymes carry out the reactions and they will make isopentenyl pyrophosphate and dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate from hydroxymethyl butenyl diphosphate and these two structures uh, on your uh, uh, left and right corners below these two structures isopentenyl pyrophosphate and dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate these two can be interconverted uh, by the enzyme ipp isomerase isopentenyl diphosphate isomerase this enzyme can interconvert isopentenyl pyrophosphate to dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate or dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate to uh, isopentenyl pyrophosphate depending upon the demand of that plant or microorganism uh, what is required uh, for them so this was all for MEP pathway and there is uh, still a lot more uh, because in the MEP pathway it does not end here uh, from isopentenyl pyrophosphate and dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate the terpenoids get synthesized the terpenoids like monoterpenes, diterpenes, tetraterpenes they also get synthesized further from here uh, so it is not uh, fully complete uh, but it is quite complete here okay let's revise it once again uh, how this uh, gets formed let's see it once again okay MEB pathway uh, the two precursors uh, which are required for this pathway is pyruvic acid and deglyceride 3-phosphate and first the pyruvic acid gets attached to thiamine pyrophosphate and after this attachment a deglyceride will only um, there will be attachment of deglyceride 3-phosphate in presence of enzyme deoxyxylulose phosphate synthase simply DXP synthase and this will carry out the reaction uh, from pyruvic acid and deglyceride 3-phosphate to deoxyxylulose phosphate and from this uh, deoxyxylulose phosphate in presence of NADPH as a cofactor and with the help of enzyme methyl erythritol phosphate synthase methyl erythritol phosphate gets synthesized and the difference is the deoxyxylulose phosphate it contains a xylulose sugar and methyl erythritol phosphate it contains erythritol and xylulose is a 5 carbon 
uh, sugar and erythritol is a 4 carbon sugar and xylulose it contains a ketone group uh, erythritol it does not contain any ketone group there are uh, 3 hydroxy group and in xylulose uh, actually in xylulose there are there will be there will also be a 3 hydroxy but here it is a 1 deoxy that's why you can only see here are 2 hydroxy groups and next let's see uh, from this methyl erythritol phosphate in presence of uh, cytidine triphosphate uh, and the enzyme diphosphocytidyl methyl erythritol synthase the compounds gets formed is 4 cdp in methyl erythritol and here what happens is the phosphate group at position number 4 of erythritol uh, gets removed and cdp gets attached and this cdp comes from ctp ctp means cytidine triphosphate and cdp means cytidine diphosphate and again uh, one more one more molecule of uh, phosphate group at attached and now this uh, phosphate group gets attached at position number 2 hydroxy group and after this addition uh, the structure is a cyclic type that's why it is called a cyclophosphate and this is methyl erythritol cyclophosphate you can call it or 2 c methyl erythritol 2 4 cyclophosphate and again in presence of enzyme hydroxy methyl butenyl diphosphate synthase this phosphate uh, bond at position number 2 carbon uh, gets a breakdown and the hydroxy molecule at position number 3 uh, at position number 3 you can call it or uh, you can call it okay it's at position number 3 uh, gets break uh, gets removed and a double bond is created uh, between position number 2 and 3 and this structure is called 4 hydroxy 3 methyl butenyl diphosphate and now uh, in presence of this enzyme hydroxy methyl butenyl diphosphate reductase this hydroxy methyl butenyl diphosphate gets converted to isopentenyl and dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate and this ipp and dmpp they can be interconverted uh, by the help of enzyme ipp isomerase okay this was all for mb pathway and now let's uh, see in short the uh, the significance of this pathway uh, first, uh, EMB pathway is one of the most important biochemical pathways for sustaining life on earth uh, like uh, any other pathways. Uh, second, terpenoids like monoterpenoids C10 and diterpenoids <coughs> C20 and actually it is, there is a mistake here. Uh, it is not a C30, it is C40. Uh, it is a mistake here. It is C40 are formed in the chloroplast and are EMEP derived. Uh, mono, di and tetra. It is not C30, it is 40. And enzymes of the MBB pathway are attractive targets for development of drugs against microbial diseases such as malaria or tuberculosis since MEP pathway is utilized by the pathogen and microorganism but it is not present in humans. That's why the drugs which act on these enzymes of MEP pathway these drugs will have very less tendency to act on the human enzymes and let's see next significance uh, phosphidomycin uh, is an antibiotic uh, that was originally isolated from culture broth of bacteria of the genus streptomyces and phosphidomycin acts as an analog of the rearrangement intermediate in the reaction catalyzed by mep synthase means phosphidomycin will act in the enzyme uh, mep synthase and it will not allow the interconverting of DXP to MEP or deoxyxylulose phosphate to methyl erythritol phosphate. And this phosphidomycin is an anti malarial drug uh, synthesized. So, this was all. If you have any problems, please comment. And thank you for watching. See you in next video.